10 into 10 grid for subtracting units tens from a number and one number from the other. Starry! It's time to have some fun again with our magnetic whiteboard. Hey! Why are you looking puzzled? I am sure you remember the 10 into 10 grid we had used to add units to a number. Tens to a number and add a number to a number. Now we are going to use the same 10 into 10 grid for doing subtraction. Let's first learn how to subtract units using the 10 into 10 grid. Hmm, let's subtract 6 from 19. First, we shall circle the number 19 on the grid and place the coin on it. If we have to add units, what do we do, Starry? Yes, we move the coin downward. But here, we have to subtract 6 units. So, we shall move the coin 6 units upwards. That is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We reach the number 13. So, Starry, we get 19 minus 6 equals 13. Let's solve the next example. 45 minus 7. We circle the number 45 and place the coin on it. What shall we do next, Starry? Yes, we shall move 7 numbers backward from 45. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We reach the number 38. Thus, 45 minus 7 equals 38. You do the next example, Starry. Subtract 4 from 83. Yes, first circle the number 83 and put the coin on it. What will you do next? That's right, move the coin 4 numbers backward from 83. So we reach the number 79. Thus, on subtracting 4, from 83, we get the answer 79. Let us now see how to subtract tens from a given number. Let us subtract 40 from 65. Starry, 65 minus 40 means 65 minus Four tens. When we add tens to a number, we move sideways to the right. So, when we subtract tens from a number, what should we do? Simple. We shall move sideways to the left. So, first, let's circle the number 65 and place a coin. On it. Now to subtract four tens, we move the coin four squares to the left. We reach the number twenty five. So sixty five minus forty equals twenty five. Did you understand, Starry? Okay, then let's solve one more example. Subtract 20 from 33. 
we shall circle the number 33 and keep the coin on it. What should we do next? Yes, we shall move the coin two squares to the left from 33. We reach the number 13. So starry 33 minus 20 equals 13. Now the next example is for you starry. Solve 67 minus 60. Come on, do it fast, Starry. Yes, starting from the number 67, we shall move 6 squares to the left. We reach the number 7. So, 67 minus 60 equals 7. Now that you have learned how to subtract units and tens from a number, Let's learn how to subtract one number from the other. Consider the example 57 minus 23. Starry, first we will split the number 23 into two tens and three units. So now the example is 57 minus two tens. 3 units. So first move the coin to the left by 2 squares to subtract 2 tens. We reach on the number 37. Now move upwards by 3 squares to subtract 3 units. We reach the number 34. Thus we get 57 Minus 23 equals 34. Let us solve the next example. Subtract 17 from 25. Here 17 equals to 110 plus 7 units. So starry. What should we do first? Yes, starting from 25, we shall move 1 square to the left to subtract 110. We reach the number 15. Now we shall move 7 squares upwards. We reach on the number 8. Thus, on subtracting 17 from 25, we get the answer 8. You solve the last example story. Subtract 94 minus 53. Here 53 is split into 5 tens and 3 units. So what shall we do first story? Yes, move 5 squares to the left from 94. We reach the number 44. Now move 3 squares upwards. So finally, we reach the number 41. Hence, 94 minus 53 is 41. So Starry, remember, while using the 10 into 10 grid for subtracting 10s, we have to move to the left and for subtracting units, we have to move upwards.